Spanish owners Angela like the ones hanging out on our passenger side. So these Angela are called Nyala. They all have the nice reddish brown color to help them blend in. So the first colors you lose sight of in the dark are going to be reds and oranges. So your shirt would be great camouflage actually for them. <laughs> also a lot of animals that might want to eat them like lions or hyenas are going to be red green colorblind. So the red on their body and the green on the plants all looks like different shades to gray to a lot of animals that might want to make them into a lunch. So it really is a good color for them to blend in. Also take a look at their pattern. You'll see some bright white stripes and spots on them. So that's helping blend them in too. Uh, you can see underneath the trees there's going to be some dark areas and some light areas. Just like the dark red and the bright whites on their body kind of mimicking that shading. So hold on tight, that's not means we're going to get going. The darker face there, her name is Tisa, so she's her oldest draft in the park. And the other one right next to her, her a little bit taller, her name is Cuban. Hold on tight, I don't want you to fall over. If anyone falls over, we have to end the tour early for first day. Not as fun. Alright, so now we're at a complete stop. Oh, don't forget the lettuce. Here. Here. Let's see if usually Tisa hands a little bit farther back the shorter, darker faced one. She usually isn't up for touching, but usually if Cupid comes over, she'll be okay with you. Petting her neck. Sometimes they also just kind of watch us too. Just like we people watch, they people watch. So I'm just gonna That's hold this up nice and high, see if anyone's interested in making their way over. Yay. Looks like Tisa is taking some steps. So Tisa is 24 years old. We need all feet on the ground, don't want to become a giraffe toy. <laughs> all right, so giraffe's kind of our nice, polite, older lady. Uh, she's been waiting for tea time. To bring the food to her. Also, make sure she usually isn't com coming close enough for you to touch. So, just like that's perfect. We'll see if she hangs out in this corner. If so, we might just rotate people. If not, then we'll rotate the giraffe. You want to be your first one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hold this out nice and far. Just like that. Come up. Come up. Just like that. All right, if you want to come on over here. Nice and close. So, hold that out as far as you can. So take a look at how Tisa's grabbing that. You see, it's just with her tongue. They have what's called a prehensile tongue. That means finger-like. She can grab with it, just like you grab with your own fingers. You want to try? There we go. She'll come up to you. Nice and close. Nice and close. Good job. All right, you want to come on up too? Start reporting. All right, you want to be up next, right over here? We'll see if we can get Tisa to start walking her way over now that she's gotten that taste for lettuce. Um, sorry, sometimes she wheels, sometimes she wheels. This is what we call positive reinforcement training. So essentially, you know, we aren't forcing her to come up. You know, we aren't punishing Cupid for not coming up. If they do, they get the reward of lettuce. So sorry. Try again later. Excuse me. And it really helps us maintain that positive relationship with our giraffes. Do they know we're Oh yeah, so that one right there, so it kind of looks like a furry tongue. Uh, our giraffe over there, um, thanks to Pisa, just is eating a little bit of something off the trees there. Uh, she's ready. Yeah, she is ready to go there. Well, I don't know if these go on photo key, I don't think they do. Yeah. Uh, so Anissa can tell you about photo key, I don't believe so. I don't think they go on photo key. Yeah, so yeah usually Tisa will kind of wait for you to come up to her. So if you want to bring the lettuce over to her, she's a uh, she's kind of patiently waits for you to make your way over to her usually. I'm just gonna come on over here. Jacob, go over there if you want to feed him again. So I'll help you switch sides in just a second here. And this guy doesn't want nothing to do with it. We gotta get going here. So if you haven't fed Tisa, come on over to this side. If you have fed, please the other side. Give them a chance. Hey, hey, Alright, here you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Take a look at this spot. This giraffe is just as unique as your own fingerprints with their spot pattern. So Tisa has like a little tornado on her chest. And keep it there for ossicones. I think like the horns on her head. Actually curve inward. 
They're coming up closer to those 8 axes right now. You see them pretty well on our passers. So they're actually getting ready to change colors into their winter coat. See, there's a lot of white on them. Some of their very bright whites are reflecting heat. In winter, they'll need a dark brown on top of it. It helps them to retain their more heat. Unless they're a bit of a dusty uh, brown. She's actually turning two in this Christmas, the day after Christmas. 